Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Cranium of Creativity. I have a very, very special article to go over with all of you because it makes me laugh. And I feel like I can say that with a straight face because, let's face it, this title, these don't wait me cards are game changing for doctor's appointments. Bull. I mean, what's game changing about them? What's game changing about anything to do with don't weigh me cards? Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> okay. Please don't weigh me unless it's really medically necessary. Let's dissect this, shall we? What isn't medically necessary about being weighed? Sure, it's arbitrary, a little bit outdated, but it's something that needs to happen because, quite frankly, it's the cheapest option that doctors have, and um, it's still fairly accurate in terms of BMI. Um, again, BMI being a little bit outdated, but the fact of the matter is um, weighing fat-free mass versus fat mass um, is a typically costly endeavor, especially if you want to be accurate at it. But most doctors can pretty well tell if you're morbidly obese just by looking at you. And my guess is you can too by looking in a mirror. So. What about it isn't medically necessary? Well, let's dive into this, shall we? When someone doesn't want to be weighed, they feel, oh, what's the word? Fat shamed is, is the term, I believe. Unfortunately, the idea behind fat shaming is also arbitrary. It covers a wide gamut of things that pretty much don't exist. Unless, of course, you're looking at the dating game, in which case you've already lost. Because, let's face it, most people uh, want someone who is in shape and takes care of themselves. And that's something that is very visual. You don't need any sort of a medical card or any of your medical documents in order to prove that you really are in shape. It's pretty evident. Um, outside of that, though, why isn't it necessary all the time? When a doctor sees you and they are able to get your accurate weight, they are able to tell, for one, what your current weight is versus what it used to be, therefore determining whether your weight gain is extremely healthy or unhealthy. And of course, in the morbidly obese, it's typically unhealthy. And at the same token, they also need to be able to tell you whether or not your weight is contributing to the many, many issues you are probably going through, such as heart disease, joint issues, blood clots, among many others. So let's dive into the article just a little bit further. Let's see here. For many people, regardless of size, stepping on the scale at the doctor's office can be triggering, harmful experience. Oh yes, there's that word, triggering. The only thing you should be triggered about, if you are triggered in fact at all by being weighed, is the fact that you had to shove all those donuts into your gullet before being weighed in the first place. So, most likely, the trigger is you, not the doctor. Please don't weigh me cards may offer a solution. Yeah, a solution to a misdiagnosis. Let's continue. The cards, which are gaining a ton. <laughs> I like your little use of uh, puns right there. Of attention online were created by morelove.org. I'm sorry. The more of you that exist, the less of you I actually love. So it looks like morelove.org is an online resources created to help parents raise kids who are free from body hate, disordered eating, and eating disorders. Boy, I tell you what, 
You don't get weighed, and the doctor doesn't give you the advice that you need in order to stop shoving the donuts in your mouth, the more of these disordered types of eating habits you will have. Sorry, sad but true. They're a subtle way to end a send, sorry, a strong message to medical staff. Please don't weigh me unless it's really medically necessary. It typically is. Moving on. If you really need my weight, please tell me why so that I can give you my informed consent. Okay, here's the issue. If you really need my weight, please tell me why. Here's the answer. It's always important because it most likely is contributing to your everything. Being weighed, particularly in front of someone else, is rarely a pleasant experience thanks to a culture of relentless weight stigma. I'm sorry, but what stigma is it that we are talking about? The fact that people really feel that there are unrealistic body expectations, therefore they decide not to exercise out of spite? Or the fact that by being so big, you make the Goodyear blimp look small by comparison? Um, the thing is, weight stigma? Again, your own fault. If you don't like the way you look, but have a hard time getting past your own mental barriers, perhaps it's time to see a psychiatrist. But beyond being uncomfortable, sorry, sometimes discomfort is what you really need in order to move to a place of being comfortable with moving and exercising and eating correctly. It can also be harmful, particularly for those dealing with disordered eating, eating disorders, and body image issues. If you have these issues, again, stop eating in the first place, or at least stop eating the really bad stuff, and stop overindulging. Not really that hard. Because we live in a fat phobic society, sorry, we've got to stop again. What exactly is fat phobic? Let's define it. What is fat? Well, if you're getting triggered by this YouTube podcast, that's probably you. If you're phobic of fat people, that means you're afraid of them. Sorry, the only fear that I have in regards to fat be uh, people is being eaten. But don't worry, I promise not to salt myself. Being weighed and talking about weight causes feelings of stress and shame. Sorry about your feelings of stress and shame, but we need to talk about these things because we're more concerned about your heart, your liver, and your joints from exploding. Many people feel anxiety about seeing the doctor and will avoid going to the doctor in order to avoid the scale. If the scale is the thing you are afraid of the most, there's definitely something wrong. What about needles? How about uh, sharp tools like scapulas, you know, things of that nature, like getting a really invasive surgery because you didn't take care of yourself. Asking not to be weighed made you more may do more than help you avoid a triggering moment. It can also help you shift the focus of your appointment away from your weights. Anti-fat bias is an increasingly recognized problem in medicine. I'm not exactly sure how, unless your doctor makes fun of you to your face telling you you're too fat, you're too fat, oh god, please stop eating, I'm sorry, that bias does not really exist. The bias is in your own mind creating this bias because your doctor is in fact trying to help you. A tendency to see size over everything else may lead providers to misdiagnose patients in larger bodies and misattribute symptoms to size instead of the true underlying condition. Let's stop here again. So, a misdiagnosis happens in larger people because they are large. Fat mass can cover up all of the things that a doctor needs to see, such as 
tumors and blood clots as well as underlying joint issues because fat can contribute to everything that that person is going through <clears throat> so the issue is well documented on social media by the hashtag diagnosis fat i'm sorry if this is an issue you're diagnosing on social media it's not an issue it is a social construct constructed to try and cause people to feel shame for talking about weight which is an important issue for people who have the issue of weight you see how very oxymoronic this really is sorry oxymoronic uh, moronic being the operative word here let's continue <clears throat> a growing recognition of medical fat bias has led to the health at every size movement which promotes the research-backed idea that weight is a flawed measure of health i agree to with this to a point because weight is not the be-all end-all however fat mass is which again visually is hard to miss if a person however is overweight quote unquote due to an overabundance of muscle mass they are in fact not overweight because that weight is being contributed by healthy muscle tissue um <clears throat> i have to quote that one as well quotation mark that one because um most bodybuilders that i know of that have that much muscle are probably on the juice but that's a story for another day it's true that weight and health can be related as self has reported duh but not in an absolute sense gaining weight is not always unhealthy again gaining muscle mass is not unhealthy gaining fat mass is going on losing weight not uh losing weight not always a health improvement well that also depends if you lose muscle mass lose muscle mass that can be a health detriment because muscle again is in fact a healthy tissue and it's necessary for proper movement in life as well as other things <clears throat> that being said losing fat is in fact healthy uh, at least beyond a uh, not beyond a certain fat percentage the H E the H A E S approach created by the Association of Size, Diversity and Health corrects these false assumptions by doing what? Encouraging practitioners to celebrate body diversity and focus on a holistic view of health rather than a weight centered one. All right encouraging practitioners to celebrate body diversity should they be throwing confetti because you gained more weight than you should have because again of the donuts i think not having this kind of conversation with your medical team can be intimidating it shouldn't be it should be an eye opener more than anything but if you can't open your eyes because you're too fat then it can't be sorry but there are ways you can try to make it easier. Writer Melissa A. Fabello, PhD, PhD in what? Outlined a few options in a past piece for self. Next time you're in the office, you can say something like, I prefer not to be weighed today. Whereas your doctor should say something like, you probably should because it's an issue and we need to talk about that issue and ways you can correct that issue before being taken back for your appointment a please don't weigh me card so hold on should we carry around please don't perform surgery on me cards especially if i have a heart attack or any other issue that might actually require surgery and you know especially if you were to slip into a coma caused by too much food so yeah sorry please don't weigh me cards won't work in saving your life no matter how much you want them to provides a more discreet way to do this 
That's not discreet. You're just giving it in writing. You could say it, but at the end of the day, whispering, putting it on a card, whatever, it makes no difference because you need all the providers to know you wish not to be weighed. And at the end of the day, you're still making a mistake by asking them not to. Or if you want to start the conversation ahead of time, <clears throat> you can email your doctor before your appointment to request that a note is added to your file indicating you don't want to be weighed. Which again, sorry, you're going to be asked regardless of whether it's in your file or not because most medical practitioners only look at the file after you have arrived and most of the time it's not right in the front if you have certain special requests. You're going to be asked because it's medically necessary every single time, no matter how much you wish it wasn't. Sometimes medical staff will push back, which they should. If your doctor provides you with a medically valid reason, reason for knowing your approximate weight, health, you might offer to estimate if you've lost or gained any weight since the last time the office weighed you, which they would know if they weighed you. And even in cases where your doctor does, does need to know your exact weight, you don't need to know if you don't want to. So. Again, your doctor may want to tell you the exact number, or they may say, you've gained more weight than you should have, and yes, you're still fat. Ask to step on the scale backwards so you can't see the numbers. And please, whatever you do, don't trip over your own shoelaces because you couldn't see them to tie them. And for the staff not to tell you or put, put it in follow-up notes from your visit. The follow-up notes are important because they allow medical practitioners to see exactly what you weighed the last time you were in. What's the point of being weighed in the first place if they are not going to put them in your follow-up notes? Sorry, wrong again. Self, you are selfish with all of this horrible horrible advice. You can order your own Please Don't Weigh Me cards from morelove.org. Sorry, this isn't more love. This is more self-hatred that you actually need. The organization will ship five cards for a $5 fee. Wow. So the more you order, the more they charge you, just like the hem that you ordered. Sorry. Morelove.org also makes Don't Talk About My Child's Weight cards for parents. I'm sorry, but if your child is overweight and you don't want them to talk to you about it, then how are you going to fix it? And how are you going to talk to them about their own eating habits so that they can fix it? This advice is just horrible. Doctor's offices can even order their own box of 100 cards for a $35 fee to distri distribute to parents. Is that in case the cards that you order initially get lost in your fat folds? The cards are available in English, French, and Spanish. Ah yes, the countries that love food the most. So let's review all of this real quick. Fat phobia is in your head if you feel that other people are not treating you fairly because you are fat. If you feel that people are not dating you because of you being so fat, that is a preference. That is not fat phobic. People are only fat phobic because of fear, fear of being eaten. So stop blaming others for what you're going through. Blame yourself, it's the only way to self-help. And stop blaming doctors for wanting to know the one thing that in your fat life is probably contributing to everything you are experiencing. And hiding the other things that they need to see. Yes, they have advanced imaging techniques, but even those advanced techniques can't get through lead. So please, 
Don't take this advice. Ignore everything about it. Give this website the middle finger, if at all possible, and stop blaming others for your mistakes. Start taking accountability for yourself. Get to the gym. Get to the refrigerator that has celery instead of cake and donuts. And try having a better life than what you're going to anticipate yourself having should you continue shoveling nothing but junk into your mouth. So, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. Which I'm guessing, if you hate this content, you probably need to lose weight. Have a nice day.